there's a future where either mixed reality or some combination or something is that's as light as these glasses I'm holding in my hand will go on my head yeah. and I can simply tap the side of it and immediately have some sort of eye controlled AI assisted conversation with a friend or something. Like there's a lot of innovations that could mm -hmm. happen. It has yeah. to not get the in the way. I think. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You couldn't get a smartphone until you got a uh, uh, mobile or uh, uh, so, uh, you know cell service providers to provide data in it in a, in a right. meaningful way, right? And you couldn't have uh, you couldn't have the the touch surface without capacitance screen. So yep. someone had developed that technology. You needed someone to develop the OS that goes in it. You needed the lithium batteries. You couldn't do it on NICAT. I mean, you could, but we super bold. Was it wasn't easy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you couldn't make it slick. I'm convinced now. Battery power is the holdup. There you go. It sure feels like it. There's if a big if there's a it. way to burn fat while I power my AR VR glasses. I'm all for it. Fattery power. Fattery Why power. <laughs> Two birds with one stone. Lose weight and immerse yourself in. in burn tomorrow. the fat. Harvest the energy. Power the. And headset. we're calling it fattery power. <laughs> yes, no one will have an objection to that. I'm no, sure. it'll be fine. Yeah, all the focus groups will give positive feedback on that. The Apple Car. The Apple uh -huh. Car mm. had had a great run <laughs> as far as being talked about. There is no Apple is. Car. As far yeah. as we know. Yeah. We don't know that. I mean, maybe there's an Apple Car on the horizon, but there yeah. isn't an Apple Car now. We're talking about 10 years ago. Why are people still talking about the Apple Car when they're clearly nowhere close? You know, like right. that. I think that's an example of what Sarah was talking about, and where I the story was like, man, people are just insistent on making fetch happen with the Apple Car. Thing. Right. So this is what I've. I've learned over my many, many years of dealing with people, um, is that, <laughs> is that, oh no, they, you made it sound <laughs> unique to Unlike you somehow. Unlike the rest of you, oh Roger talks to <laughs> people. Dealing, dealing I mostly thoughts. just no, no. talk to trees and animals. When you have two working parents, nobody wants to have kids because yeah. everything is so much more efficient that you could actually, I mean, imagine mm. if we use this technology to say, oh, I'm three times as productive as I used to be from a time perspective. Right. So I could use that additional time to like, if you wanted to have children, right? To parent. Yeah. If you could combine the robotics with AI to have like the rosy robot from the Jetsons, because that's what would make, like yeah. having two kids is a full-time job. And just having some, an extra pair of hands to kind of just offload the kid, even if it's just mentally to get some breathing space it's away called from the an ipad mm. yeah. no 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 no. And so as soon as you Brutal. set them with a tablet ipad or whatever get them in their favorite game it's just like it's just like the the whole jevin or jevin's paradox is that mm -hmm. it's not like they become less demanding they want other stuff i want a cold drink i want food can you bring me this <sighs> i just want, want shelter a wait so if you yeah. give a kid an ipad they still need to eat yeah i want clothes uh, amazing uh, isn't it uh, if you give a mouse a cookie <laughs>